This is the Infinity Airbrush by uh, Harder and Steenbeck. This is the uh, the CR Plus uh, series, and this differs from the original Infinity in that it's got a, a triple nickel plated interior and a, a chrome plated exterior. Now um, Harder and Steenbeck uh, did this for for one reason, and that is the fact that you can actually get, um, or some people have had a slight uh, allergic reaction to the to just the nickel plating, so they've uh, they've addressed this. And given the exterior uh, a chrome plate in, so that should uh, that should eliminate any any allergies. Um, I've not heard of this before, to be honest. Of, of I mean, of anybody actually being having a reaction against it. But um, Harder and Steenbeck obviously thought that this was something I needed to address. So and so they've done it. So that's the that's the exterior difference. Um, also, the the CR Plus has got a it's got three solvent resistant uh, PTFE seals, uh, needle bearings inside and uh, a new type of screw technology so um, it has got improvements internally uh, and externally so what we'll do is I'll just take you through some of the main features of the airbrush and uh, we'll strip it down and put it back together again the infinity model from Harder and Steenbeck uh, comes in three variations you can get a 0 0.15, 0 0.2 or 0.4 millimeter uh, needle nozzle configuration so you can get extremely tight detail with the the point one uh, five or the point two. Even the point four has got uh, really good detail capability. So it's a, it's a brilliant all rounder. Plus the fact that you can um, you can actually change the uh, the color cups on top. Simply screw into the body, and this uh, seats against the PTFE seal in the in the top of the body there. So you've got a, a really nice um, multi use airbrush, uh, depending on which needle or nozzle you use. Um, it also comes in a, a, a kit where you can get two different uh, needle and nozzles uh, just in the same box. So it's up to you which one you decide to get. So I'll just take you through the uh, the front of the airbrush in a second and um, just show a few more features. Okay, as you can see from the, the finish, it really is uh, first class. There are absolutely no flaws whatsoever on the surface of this. Um, it's, it's a thing of beauty, really. It's, it's it's an absolutely fantastic looking airbrush. I mean, it's almost too nice to put any paint through it. To be honest, it's um, it'd go well on the wall. You want you want to put it in a frame. That's what you want to do with it. Um, so as you can see, it's got uh, some gold plated detailing, uh, which will um, I'll, I'll explain the the, the back of this um, in a bit. But um, just to give you an overall view of the of the airbrush, it's um, superb. Okay, we're gonna. I'm just going to show you the front of the airbrush now. Um, this has got the the cap with the two protective horns on it. That's simply to stop you knocking the needle when you're using it. But it also allows you to pull off any any tip dry that you may have. If you don't want to use this, you can simply take it off, and um, it's just a push on and pull off fit. There's no thread on it, so just give it a bit of a twist, and it will come straight off. There we go, simple as that. So if you want to use a completely open open needle, you just take the whole thing off and that's that's what you've got left with. So th this really is um, about one of the most open needles you can get on an airbrush. Um, very easy to take off the tip dry and of course it's excellent for getting this close to the surface for really fine detail work. So I'll, I'll show you now what uh, the protective cap you get which is this simply it's got a hole in the end uh, just simply pushes on again um, you might want to use this if you're just going to put your airbrush on a hanger or something if it does drop to the floor you're not going to damage the needle there you go that's the protective cap just pulled straight off again so that's the front end um, we'll go around to the back end and also also show you uh, features to the trigger etc OK, this airbrush has got a quite a unique uh, needle limiter on it. Um, it's exactly the same. It's got the same one as uh, the original Infinity. Um, but it's, it, it is a fantastic design. Um, simply pressing this button in, you'll see it actually move forward here. Pressing this button in engages the needle limiter. So we've actually prevented any, or reduced the travel. You set it to how you want to use it but that's that's the amount of travel we reduced it to there if you want to disengage this mechanism there you go pull it out and you've actually 
reduced that limit completely. There's there's nothing. The limiter isn't it actually engaged now, so you've taken it off. So in to engage it, out to remove the capability. Um, the way you adjust this is, as you can see, you'll see it moving in and out there. You simply screw this in and out to uh, adjust it to your requirements. So that is a fantastic idea and it looks great as well. Okay, as you can see the cutaway on the handle is quite quite large. Um, it's two reasons really. Uh, one of the reasons is to just give you a f so you can actually flush any dried paint through or anything um, the normal way that you would with one of these cutaway handles. Also it allows you to get to this which now this actually allows you to adjust the, the trigger spring tension obviously screwing it in will make it uh, tighter screwing it out anti-clockwise will uh, reduce the tension on it and make give you a, a lighter trigger pull so there's a there's a dual purpose to this cutaway uh, normally on airbrushes you actually have to take the handle off to get to this to this bit but um, Harder and Steenbeck um, have actually designed that into the handle so that's 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 really nice as well and um, the cup the cup is removable it sits on a PTFE seal in the top of the body you can get different size colour cups uh, depending on what your the size of the project you want to use so that's uh, very easy to uh, to change so what I'll do now is I'll um, I'll show you to strip the airbrush down and then we'll uh, put it back together again the whole trigger uh, mechanism and uh, linkage is completely different um, on these airbrushes to any, to any other airbrush you'll see. Um, basically everything rides inside this uh, this arc. So that's actually it's the back lever and it's it's a guide for the actual trigger shaft as well so it, uh, it's gonna be, it works really well it's a nice nice smooth uh, trigger action. Um, there's a lot of contact between the side of the, uh, the slot in the body and the sides of the uh, the back lever, so you do get a a, a positive and uh, a nice smooth action. So that's another uh, an, another sort of um, quirky design feature for this uh, for this Infinity. Um, not just this Infinity, but the other the other one as well. Also for the uh, Evolution models and um, a lot of the other Hydra and Steenbeck airbrushes, they all utilise this this link uh, mechanism. Okay, so what we're going to do now is going to uh, strip down the Infinity and uh, I'll just show you the internal components and then we'll put it back together again. So, uh, as usual, we'll uh, we'll just remove the handle. There's a coarse thread on here, so it's, it literally is sort of a, a turn, really, just to pull this off. There's, it's not a fine thread, so it just makes it a bit quicker. And there you can see the uh, needle chucking nut and the uh, the trigger spring tensioner there. Now what you also get with this, uh, so actually what we'll just, I'll just remove the needle first. Okay, as I said, what you also get with this is, um, is this small tool here. The idea of this is that it simply locates in one of these holes on this collar and uh, that allows you to undo this this whole section here. So I'm going to leave the uh, the chuck nut on for now because we want to keep this, this section together. So we'll just um, crack that open and we'll undo the whole section and uh, there you have it, that's the uh, that's the whole trigger spring mechanism um, and uh, needle tube all in one section now what you can do is just lift out the trigger. As you can see it's got this uh, arc shaped uh, back lever on it. The uh, the trigger actually goes through and you'll see a sort of a ball joint there that actually presses down on the uh, on the air valve. So um, you can see the bottom of the slot there. So that's that uh, section done. So we'll move down to the um, around to the front of the airbrush and we'll take off the nozzle. So around the front of the airbrush now, uh, taking the nozzle off couldn't be couldn't be simpler. It's uh, 
you just unscrew it from the body. It's got an O-ring that it uh, that seats against the front face. You see it there. So that's the nozzle cap and the nozzle all in one. Basically, that's your nozzle there. Quite a big nozzle. This is, I mean, this is a 0.15 uh, nozzle, but uh, the actual external diameter and, um, and and size of it is quite large. So you're not going to you're not going to lose this. And um, it sits inside the body on this PTFE seal here, so it's um, it's really as it's dead simple, um, very easy to replace, and, and and that's it. That's just the nozzle and nozzle cap. Uh, one thing I've noticed on these um, Harder and Steenbeck airbrushes is the um, how easy it is to remove the air valve assembly. Basically, you just unscrew it from the body. You can see it sits on an O-ring there, and that's the assembly. Um, if you want to take this to bits further just get a slotted screwdriver uh, locate it in the brass nut there and then just undo this and you'll see the the air valve and the spring inside that's just you want to lubricate it or replace anything I'm sure you won't but uh, so that's how easy that is you don't need any tools to take this off and it just does it finger tight right this is the uh, trigger spring assembly and uh, needle tube. Um, I just wanted to show you this, this assembly uh, because we haven't stripped it down at all yet so um, basically if you do want to get to the spring there you have it that's the spring there and the uh, the needle tube um, this is your adjuster, it's got a very fine thread on it so you can make uh, micro adjustments on it and that's that's all there is to that section You're better off taking this out of the airbrush all in one unit, actually. And it locates on a series of flats in there, so it can't uh, it can't twist round. Right, we've moved round to the front of the airbrush again. So what we'll do is we'll just reinsert the nozzle and the uh, the air the air cap. Um, couldn't be easier, really. Basically, we just uh, drop the nozzle in here. And screw it into the body. You'll notice just that last little twist and that seats against the O-ring. That's all you need to do. That's the uh, nozzle inserted. Moving on to the uh, back of the airbrush, we'll, we'll build this back up now. Um, First things first, really, I think drop the trigger in. Couldn't be easier. Large ball joint at the bottom just sits in the air valve recess. Of course, the uh, back lever drops in at the same time. Just press it down, just make sure we have located it, and that's okay. And then we're just going to drop this whole unit inside now. Best to keep it all together, as I said. I've just done that up finger tight. If you do want to nip it up a little bit, just use the bar they provide. But to be honest, I think finger tight's fine. So now what we'll do is just make sure your, your chuck nut's slackened off enough. And we'll just reinsert the needle. I'd always like to press down the trigger, just keeps everything out of the way. Do it really carefully, make sure you don't come up against any obstructions, and you'll just feel it come to a stop. That means it's seated at the nozzle end, and we just nip it up. You can see it protruding at the front there, and then it's just a case of putting the handle back on. As I said, a couple of twists really, and that's it, all back together. Couldn't be simpler. So there you have the uh, Infinity CR Plus from Harder and Steenbeck. Um, a beautiful looking airbrush, um, a, a fantastic bit of engineering. The only problem I've got with it is that um, if you do get one of these, 
you'll probably want to get another airbrush because you, you won't want to put any paint through this. It's um, It should be hanging on a wall really, it's, it, it's that nice. Um, fantastic detail gun, uh, really nice uh, machining, build quality is fantastic, uh, chroming second to none. Um, it's just a just a lovely looking and a, a lovely performing airbrush.